Greetings from Neuron Themes. In today's video, we are going to talk about mega menus. Mega menus are a multi level argumentation that put together your entire website's navigation into a single menu. This is especially useful for complex websites with tons of materials to share. So let's get going. We are going to design this stunning mega menu, all using the builder. This will give us tons of flexibility and power to create any kind of menu that we wish. Watch us. We will design this as a template, and to do that, from the WordPress dashboard, click on Templates. Click on the Add New button, select the type of the template to be Section, give your template a name, and here we start. You will, of course, be presented with the astonishing neuron library that consists of beautiful and ravishing templates for any occasion, but for this time, we will build our menu from scratch. Here we have a blank page to get us started on. Let's add a section of two columns. Set the content width to full width. We will choose a different structure for our section. This looks just about right. From the Style tab, we will add a background color for our section. This gray color seems fine. Let's choose to add a border. Set the border type, the border width, decide on a color, and let's add some box shadow to our section. This is much better. Let's click on the first section's handle. From the Content tab, we will set the horizontal align to Space Between. From the Style tab, we will set a background color to be white. Also, from the Advanced tab, we will add some padding values. We will add a heading to introduce our mega menu, write our text, set the HTML tag. From the Style tab, we will set a text color and tweak the typography options. Let's add a button right underneath our title for the moment. We will configure the settings for the button, go to the Style tab to design our button, tweak the typography options, set the text color. We will have the background color be transparent. Set the width value as well as add a color for the border. Lastly, we will add some padding around our button. This does not look appealing. We want both the heading and the button to be displayed on the same line. And to do that, let's first click on the heading to open the options. Click on the Advanced tab. From Positioning, choose Inline. The same will be applied to the button as well. See? Let's add a divider. We will set the style and the width. Let's choose a color. From the Advanced tab, we will add some padding values. It's all coming together. Now, let's add an inner section. We will duplicate the first column to have three columns shown. Make sure you set the widget space to the value of 10 for each column. We're doing good so far. Let's add a heading to the first section. Write our text and set the HTML tag. Set the text color and tweak the typography options. We will add all the components on our mega menu using the icon list element. This will give us grand power to design and customize our menus to the extent we wish. Let's search for the element and drag it onto the page. The layout will be by default. Let's set the items. We will delete the other items and leave only one for now. Click on the tab to open the options. We will set the text. This will be the name of the page to which we will redirect our users to. You can set an icon, but we'll skip on this for design purposes. In here, on the link box, you can type in the URL to the page you want the item to redirect. It's really this simple. Let's duplicate this item three more times, but of course, we will change our content. And if you're using links to redirect users, make sure you change that too. Now we're all done. Let's style the items. We will set the space between the list items to be four. From the text section, go ahead and set the text color. Choose a hover color for the items. And of course, we'll tweak the typography options. Go to the Advanced tab and add some bottom padding for the value of 25 pixels. We have basically designed our entire mega menu. This is where it gets interesting. We will copy the heading and paste it onto the other columns. Now it's time we copy the items and paste them onto the other columns. Now all we need to do is change the content. Let's change the titles for each column.
perfect. Now it's much better. Remember when we set the bottom padding values? We will remove the values only for the bottom columns. We will add another element to spice up our design. Click on the second column's handle and start tweaking the options. Set the vertical align to middle. From the advanced tab, add some padding values around the column. Let's search for the slides element. Drag it onto the page. This will elevate our design and make our mega menu more appealing. Let's add the slides. We will delete all text, we will only show imagery. Select the images. The same steps will be repetitive to the other two slides. Select a different image for each. Now, set the height for the slides to be 360 pixels. Go to the Style tab and configure the navigation. Set the style for the navigation as well as orientation. Set the size. Also set the space between the navigation bullets. Choose a position for the navigation. We want them to appear inside the slides, so we will add a negative value to the Y position. Lastly, set a background color and you'll be done. We're all done with the design of our mega menu. Now we move on to the practical side of it. Again, from the WordPress dashboard, Appearance, Menus. Locate the menu that you wish to attribute our mega menu design. In our case, is this main menu here. Click on the menu items that you wish to add the mega menu template. From mega menu, select the template that you designed. And that's it. Don't forget to click on save menu for the changes to be applied. And now let's see our menu in action. This looks awesome. Dare to be creative and use all the robust elements to your advantage to create amazing things like this. Don't be afraid to think outside of the box and you'll be fascinated by the results. This concludes our video. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out other videos to find more helpful tutorials like this one.